Let me go personal. Everybody understands math, right? Let's do math. I love math. Okay? I can fix things. So what's the cost of having the materials in the wrong place or not having them organized or not having the right material? Let's say we've got people that are working 10 hour days. I just like 10 because it's easy math, all right? What do you think it costs by having materials scattered or not in the right location or where everybody knows where they're at per day for you, Freddie, if you were working 10 hours? How many minutes does it cost you a day? How many minutes if you're having to go get those materials? How much, you, what's the worst day that you've had looking for materials? Oh man, I probably spent three hours. Three, three hours. hours, okay. What's the, what's, What's something that you would describe as normal in looking for those materials? A normal? Probably within an hour in the morning. An hour? Love that. Okay. So one hour. Okay. For that material. Now, is that over uh, the whole period of 10 hours? Yes. Was it over the entire? Did you have to go back? Did you count the whole, the whole, whole time, the hour? Mm -hmm. Okay. One hour. Let's stick with that for right now. But let's do the math. All right. How many people do you got on the job site? Uh, at the moment, we got about 13 to 15. What's the most you had? The most we had was 33, 35. Let's focus on that, okay? Because we like big numbers, right? It yeah. has a lot bigger effect. You know what it costs us per man hour? Let's just say that the average is $35 an hour. So that's what it costs us as a company to put somebody out there. And it could be, some, it, it could be 28, it could be 47. Uh, you know, it's 35. Today, all right. That's a good average for us. So if we set that and we've got 33 people times 35, who's got their calculator out? Did anybody anticipate we were going to do math? Like five, Is that right? 33 times. Uh, no, it can't be that. Can it? No. B. Three thousand fifteen, right? I don't know what it is. Where's that thousand? Are you raising it? Thirty-three times thirty-five. Oh, okay. One thousand. One thousand one hundred fifty-five. Yeah. One thousand one hundred fifty-five. I had some of the right numbers. I just had them in the wrong order. <laughs> one thousand one hundred fifty-five. That's that's every day. Well, how many days a week do we work? What's the math on that? Five, seven, seven, five. You think we should clean up our materials? What? Let's say that we can't, we can't, we're always going to have to look for some materials, right? Let's make this realistic. You know, let's get it down to 15 minutes that I'm spending wasted time looking. So what's that divided by four? One thousand four hundred and forty three point seven five. <laughs> Who enjoys looking for materials that you can't find? The math I'm doing? says it's worth us having the guy organize those materials full time. Everybody else doing the same math? Guess what? That math applies no matter how many people you've got. If I'm saying it's 40 hours I need to dedicate or an hour and a half per person, or an hour and 15 minutes per person on the job site, if I've got four people on the job site, I just, let's just call it an hour. Every week I should dedicate at least four hours, okay, to cleaning up the materials. That could be at the end of the week. All of us are gonna take an hour and organize all the materials. And guess what? It pays for itself. What about tools? Is it the same thing for tools? So how many people are doing this? Has anybody, have, we, we've never said to clean up the materials and tools? Why, why is it that we're focused here instead of here, here, and here? 